Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Wednesday, August 7th, 2019, and I wanted to do a video today on people who think vaccines cause autism and cancer, often known as anti-vaxxers, and um, as well as those who um, criticize big pharma, that is big pharmaceutical companies like Pfizer or Bayer, when it's being greedy and money hungry. Um, anti-vaxxers insist that vaccines cause autism. There's no double blind studies to support that. Um, a simple Google search will prove that you will never be able to find a double blind study that confirms that autism is caused by vaccines, whether it's the measles vaccine or the polio or any other vaccine, the flu. There's no evidence for that. And the reason anti-vaxxers want people to believe that vaccines cause autism is so they can sell alternative healthcare products that are not supported by science. In other words, pseudoscience and junk science and quackery. Um, the more people anti-vaxxers can get to believe that vaccines cause autism, the more their obnoxious potions and pills and herbs and alternative homeopathy medicine will be able to be sold to suckers who want to buy these things and they don't do anything or they are outright harmful. In other words, alternative medicine has a stake in making people not accept standard proven science in medicine so they can make a buck by selling some stupid herbal vitamin supplement to try to improve your health. Um, the more people who distrust medicine, the more junk that they can sell them. Um, whether that's herbs, um, dietary supplements, I mean, there's literally hundreds, if not thousands of those kinds of supplements being sold. And it's a multi-billion dollar business. So the people who sell those things, it's in their best interest for people to not trust mainstream medicine. Um, and the other thing that anti-vaxxers seem to overlook is that in the 1800s, the average lifespan for people in the Western world was about 30 to 40 years. Now it's 70 to 90 years, and that's because of vaccines and antibiotics and um, other medicines. And people often blame big pharmaceutical companies for having too much expensive drugs so people can't actually buy them, um, which, is, which is partly true. There are other countries with lower costs in medications. But um, many people accuse big pharma of wanting people to live long, chronic lives of sickness so they can keep giving out new drugs as opposed to say curing a disease where if you cure them then they won't need any more medications. Um, that's bullshit. The reason people are chronically ill is because people are living longer and therefore if they're not dying at the age of 45 and they're dying at the age of 55 or 65 or 75 or 85, the longer they live the more they're going to have chronic illnesses. It's not a plot by the pharmaceutical company companies. If anything, it's a sign that the pharmaceutical companies and vaccines have extended the lifespan and increased health throughout the Western world. Now, there are, it is true that a lot of Americans are unhealthy, but that has nothing to do with big pharma. That's because people smoke cigarettes, they overeat, they stuff themselves so they get as fat as a house, and then they start relying on medications to control the fact that they've ruined their own health. That much is certainly true. Obesity and diabetes, all of these things are preventable. Just like quitting smoking will prevent the likelihood of lung cancer or emphysema. I smoke myself, and as long as I smoke, I'm putting my own health at risk of developing cancer or emphysema or a heart attack or a stroke. Um, and in that sense, people do get illnesses that are preventable. But overall, if you're living longer, you're going to live with more chronic disorders, especially those associated with age, Alzheimer's, arthritis, um, you know, cancer, whatever it might be. So to sum up, anti-vaxxers in the anti-medicine establishment um, have a lot to sell you in far, in, as far as um, dietary supplements and pseudoscientific junk like homeopathy to try to treat your medical problems and like i said it's a multi-billion dollar business and the thing that anti-vaxxers and people who criticize big pharma 
seem to want to ignore is that because of big pharma and because of vaccines, as well as antibiotics, um, vaccines are for viruses, antibiotics are for bacteria. Um, people are living longer lives now than in any other time in human history. And it's because of the healthcare system in the West has succeeded in getting people to live much longer lives because of vaccines that are safe, that do not cause autism, do not cause cancer. And there's no double bar in studies to suggest that they do. So anti-vaxxers are ignoring the extended lifespan of humans over the past 150 years in the Western world, and even in the developing world because of things like vaccines um, and mainstream medicine. So if somebody wants to try to convince you that vaccines cause autism, they're probably trying to sell you something, some medical treatment that's not approved by anybody, um, the FDA or any uh, double blind studies, and they just want to sell you dietary supplements. Um, and so they lie outright that vaccines cause autism. And also anti-vaxxers and people who are offer alternative mental, not mental health, alternative healthcare products, um, they have money to make if they can convince you to stop seeing your doctor and taking your medications for whatever disorder you might have. Um, there's a lot of money at stake in the alternative medicine, the, the, sorry, the alternative medicine industry is a big multi-billion dollar business and they have a lot to sell and a lot to lose if they don't get people to believe that there's something wrong with mainstream medicine um, in treating disorders. And there is something wrong with mainstream medicine in the sense that most Americans are fat, overweight, and diabetic because of their own habits, not because of big pharma, but because people eat and act like slobs. Um, so that's a totally separate issue um, from big pharma or vaccines. Um, but uh, vaccines are safe. They don't cause autism. They don't cause cancer. They've extended the human lifespan by over 50 years. And um, people are living longer because of big pharma, not despite it. They're living longer because of vaccines, not despite them, um, and as well as antibiotics. Um, so vaccines don't cause autism. So get your children vaccinated. And if you don't get your children vaccinated and they come down with an illness, you're a child abuser. You, you abuse your own children by letting them get a disease that was preventable. And there may not be a law saying that you're a child abuser, but morally speaking, if you don't vaccinate your children, you uh, are abusing your child. So leave a like, share, comment, subscribe.